Some police shoot and kill a woman. Officers say the 26-year-old walked out of her apartment near William Cannon and South First, pointing a gun at them. KXN's Phil Prazen is live in South Austin tonight, where investigators are still piecing together details of the early morning shooting. Phil. Well, Aaron, it's a calm day now here along West William Cannon in South Austin. Neighbors point to this apartment behind me is where she lived with her husband. Police say that her husband called 911 and told them that she was armed and acting erratic. Now, when officers pulled up along with someone trained in mental health crisis, police say the woman came out pointing a gun at them and telling police to kill me, kill me. Officers shot. She went down but didn't stop the yelling. When police approached her, they say she pulled the gun from under her body and continued to point it at them. Several more shots were fired, and she was transported to the hospital at 4.15. She died near 5 in the morning, and Cassandra Garcia lives just two doors down and heard the commotion when she stepped outside. Cops telling the lady to drop her weapon and to put the, to put the gun down and put the gun down. Um, I mean, that's all I heard, and then after that, shortly after, like a couple seconds right after, they shot at her, so... And Aaron, two officers are placed on administrative leave. The district attorney, internal affairs, and the police monitor are investigating exactly what happened here. That's typical anytime there's an officer involved shooting. And tonight at 10 o'clock, I'm taking a closer look at why it's so common for police to be the front lines on some of these mental health crisis situations and what could be done to help that problem. We're live in South Austin. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Thank you, Phil. Today's shooting brings to mind another case 14 years ago when an Austin police officer shot and killed Sophia King. It stands out not only because it was a woman killed by an officer, which is relatively rare, but police at the time classified King as an emotionally disturbed person. In June of 2002, police were called to an East Austin housing project after someone reported seeing 23-year-old King fighting with the project's manager with a knife. Police said King refused to drop the knife. The officer said he had to shoot to save the manager's life. That officer, who still works for APD, was cleared of any criminal wrongdoing. King's family later sued the city, saying she should have been committed to a mental hospital on an emergency case because of her illness. That lawsuit failed.